Hello, I'm James from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. The Whoopee Cushion was a practical joke toy which when sat on would produce an amusing fart noise. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your own Whoopee <laughs> In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your own Whoopee Cushion button from some paper plates and some bits of household material. Here we have the Whoopee Cushion button that we're going to build. To build our whoopee cushion, you're going to need some paper plates, some tin foil, and some kind of spongy material such as a disc sponge. For the electronics, we're also going to need some copper tape, or alternatively some extra tin foil, some glue, and some wire to attach to your Raspberry Pi. Ideally, these should be some crocodile clips that you attach to some jumper wires. To begin, take your paper plates and glue some tin foil onto the inside. If you want your paper plates to last a bit longer, you might want to put a bit of thick cardboard underneath first, and that will give your paper plate a bit more rigidity. The next step is to take some copper tape or some more tin foil and make a track from the tin foil centre to the edge of the paper plate, wrapping it around the edge. This will provide a contact which later you can connect your crocodile clips to. Do the same thing with both plates. When we combine the plates later on, the two contacts need to be separated so that they don't touch together. At this stage, we could combine our plates to make a button. However, to add more lifespan, we're going to use some glue and add some sponge around the center of the plate, forming a nice border of spongy material. Now we have our button, you could glue around the edge to keep the plates together. Or you could use some bulldog clips like this to hold the plates together, yet still allowing you to access the inside. When you're ready to test your button, take a crocodile clip and attach to each of your two contacts. Take the other two ends and connect to your Raspberry Pi, just as you would a button. And there you have it, your paper plate button ready to test.